broke it, make it, do it Makes us harder, better, faster, stronger Welcome to AIO Bot Video Tutorial. In this video, we will make sure that you'll fully understand everything about running the bot from A to Z and what you will need to be successful. After installing the bot, click the AIO Bot icon on the desktop. If it's your first time launching the bot, you'll be asked for the activation key. You can find your activation key in your purchase email. Now copy the key, paste it into the bot, and click OK. The first thing you'll have to do is to check for updates. It is a very important step because websites are always changing and we're constantly pushing new updates to the bot to handle those changes and make sure everything is working fine. To update the bot, click Help in the menu and then choose Check for Updates. On the top right, you will see a message informing you that the bot is checking for updates. If there are no updates, it will say that you already have the latest update else the bot will automatically start downloading the update package and you will be able to install the downloaded update by clicking help and then install update now. We are ready to start creating some accounts. Select your desired website from the drop down list. Next, you will have to provide the email and password for your account on the website that you chose in the drop down list. In my case, I need to provide my Foot Locker account information. To create one, you can just visit their website and create a new account on their website. Please note that you can use Guest Account by ticking the checkbox next to the Site field. In this case, no need to create any accounts from the website. But be careful, not all websites support Guest Accounts. Please visit the link below in the description to check which websites you can use for Guest Accounts. I'm going to choose Foot Locker as my desired website, and since Foot Locker supports guest accounts, I'm going to tick the guest box. Now notice the bot auto-filled the email and password fields. Now let's move down to the positive keyword field. Since this method is not used at the meantime, just type XXX. You can type whatever you want. It won't affect your results. Negative keyword and style number are the same as the positive keyword. Both of them are not used at the meantime. You can leave them both empty. The size field. Here is where you input your item size. Always use US format size. Early link. Here, you will have to provide the early link for the item you are willing to cop. On hyped releases, we will provide for you the early link. We will teach you in this video where to find the early links that we provide in the bot. But at this moment, we will teach you how to use early links in general case. We are going to visit footlocker.com and browse through the items in the list. Choose any item you want and click on your item. The website will redirect you, the add to cart, copy the link in your browser and paste it in the early link field. Page monitor are used if the early link is not available. The bot will search for the keywords that you are going to provide in the bot in your desired website and the bot will keep searching for the keywords until they match the item. I will not use the keywords right now because we've already provided early link in the bot. We will use keywords later. Now, the notification text field is used for if you want to be notified by SMS on your phone when the bot adds to cart and the notification email gets notified by email. Visit the link in the description below for more information. You can leave both of them empty if you don't want to be notified. Finally, we are ready for the next step to click on the Add button. Now, we've created our first task. You can add up to 100 tasks. Let us add another account, but we tried different size. Just recheck the guest box and change the size. If you are not using guest accounts, input your second website account that you already created on the website. Please note that you can't create two accounts using the same username and password. Then click Add. Now we have two tasks ready to go. But first, we have to assign billing information in order for the bot to check out with. Without assigning billing info, the bot will never check out. Select all of your tasks by clicking and dragging the mouse all over your tasks and right-click Choose to manage the billing of tasks. A menu will pop out. Here, 
You can see your save billing info, so no need on each time to input your info all over again. But of course, it's empty now, so we have to create a new billing info. Click on the new billing info on the top main menu. Now, you can choose between PayPal and credit card. We are going to choose credit card. Input all your billing, shipping, card info. Select your country from the drop-down list. If you are from the US, you need to put a two letters abbreviation for your state. For example, for California, you have to put it as CA. If your country doesn't have any states, you can put the full name of your region province in the state box. Okay, now we are almost done. There is a little checkbox in the right corner, check out once per website. Check this feature if you want the bot to check one item per website. For example, if you are trying to cop Yeezy Boost by running 10 tasks, the bot will check out with only one pair. This feature is useful when you have a limited number of credit cards, because if you check out with 10 pairs from the same website with one credit card, the website will cancel your order. If you want to check out more than two pairs, your tasks should use multiple billing info. But if you are trying to cop from multiple sites using the same billing info, you are safe. Now click Save. You will notice that your billing info that you've created is now in the Saved section. Choose it and click Add. Your billing info is now loaded to your accounts. You can verify that by looking at the CC Checkout tab. You will notice that it is using the billing info that you've created moments ago. You can assign each task a different billing info. Let's change the billing info for the second task. Select it and then right click Manage Billing Info. We have to create another one. Repeat the step with a different card info. Click Save and select your billing info and click Add. Now we have created two tasks with the different billing info. Finally, we are ready to see the bot in action. Click Create Tasks button on the right side. Now, notice your tasks will be transferred from the left to the right side. Now they are ready to get started. To start them, click on Start All Tasks, or you can select one task and start them individually. The bot will start adding to cart and check out with your item. You can check the logs of each task by selecting it. Adidas Tasks will only start by clicking on Start All Adidas Tasks button. You can also right click on the task and select the option to start it. Now we tried to cop using Early Link. It's time to teach you how to cop using keywords. First, we have to stop the tasks. Select your tasks by left clicking and dragging the mouse on your tasks and then click on Stop Selected Tasks. Now we have to delete the tasks, drag the mouse over your tasks and right click and delete selected tasks. Now we are ready to create new accounts. Repeat the steps that we previously learned on how to create accounts. I'm going to create just one account. Enter the positive keyword and enter the size. Leave the early link empty. Reminder, never use the early link with page monitor at the same time. I will show you how page monitor works. Let's go to Kith official website and browse through their items. Now, I'm going to choose the Cop the Off-White Diagonal Spray button up. In order to cop this item, we have to provide keywords for the bot to search for on the website. Since the bot can't read spaces, we can't enter Off-White Diagonal Spray button up. In this case, we have to enter the simple ampersand between the spaces your keyword should look like this. White, ampersand, diagonal, ampersand, spray, ampersand, button. The symbol ampersand will act as a space between words. And even you can search for multiple items. At the same time, you have to use the comma between your keywords. I will include all the tutorials in the description. This was only a small example. Now, for items that have CAPTCHA, we created a tool for that that's called CAPTCHA Solver. We are going to test it to show you how it works. Let's head on to Adidas US official site and select an item that has CAPTCHA in it. Let's select Adidas from the drop down list. Check the guest box, put XXX in the positive keyword box like we did before, and enter the item's link and size. Click on Add Task 
and then create the task. Let's start this task. Notice now in the logs that the bot is telling me to solve the CAPTCHA. So go to Tools, open CAPTCHA Solver, and start solving the CAPTCHA like I'm doing right now. After you solve the CAPTCHA, the shoe will automatically be added to your cart. On hyped releases, we will provide you with keywords and early links. As you can notice on the top right, there is a red button, Release Setup. Click on it here, you will find the release information. To get your keywords and early link, click on Help, Get Keywords, and search for your desired item and click Add. The bot will auto-fill the keywords or early link for you. When you run too many tasks in the bot on a specific website that you're trying to cop from, you have a high chance to get banned from the website. You can solve this problem by using proxies. There are plenty of proxy providers on the internet you can search for. It's recommended to have premium proxies with a low ping latency to the sites that you want to cop from. Proxies with high ping latency will dramatically decrease your internet speed, which will affect your success rate. Now, after you get your proxies, you have to insert them in the bot. Click Configure, Proxies. Now, here you insert your proxies. It should look like the following, IP address, port, username, and password. Your proxy provider should provide you with your username and password. If they didn't, it means that they authenticate the proxies via your IP address. So in this case, no need to enter your username and password next to your proxies. So it should look like the following, IP address, port. Then press on add 20% from normal to monitor proxies box. Those proxies will be used to monitor the sites. So make sure that you always have proxies there. After you're done, click Save. Now your proxies are successfully loaded into your bot. Now, you're wondering how many proxies you should use. It depends on how many tasks you are going to run. It's recommended to use one proxy per task. For example, if you're going to run 10 tasks, you should use 10 proxies. But if you don't want to spend too much on proxies, you can use one proxies per two accounts. Now, before you start the tasks, you have to make sure if your proxies are working, you can do a fast test by using our proxy tester feature. Click on Tools Proxy Tester, insert your proxies, choose on which website you want to test your proxies. For example, if you are going to use the bot on Foot Locker for a certain release, test your proxies on Foot Locker and click Test. The bot will begin testing your proxies. Ping time, it is the round trip time from your host to the proxy server. The lower the number is the better. Having a high ping time will dramatically affect your success rate. Website ping time. It is the round trip time from your host using the proxy to reach the website. Status can give you six results. Working, proxy server timed out. The round trip request from your host to the proxy server exceeded 10 seconds to receive a reply. The proxy might be working, but slow at the meantime not working. The site was not reachable using this proxy. Banned. Website had banned your proxies from reaching the website. Banned. Failed to add the item to cart. Site had banned your proxy from adding items to cart where you can still surf their pages. Proxy authentication required. Wrong username and password specified or your IP wasn't authenticated to use this proxy. If you have a slow internet speed and it's affecting your success rate, now it's time to invest in a virtual private server. It will provide you with high internet speed. Don't choose an overkill server with a massive amount of RAM and CPU processor. What you are looking for is the internet speed of that server. Please note that if you are willing to cop from the website, which is located in the United States, you should rent a server which is located in the same country. Because servers which are located far away from the website that you are willing to cop from can affect your success rate by having high ping latency. And remember, using VPS is an optional choice. You can test your internet connection using speedtest.net. 
remote import your accounts from CSV. A CSV is a comma separated values file, which allows data to be saved in a table structured format. You can use this tool to import your accounts from Dropbox into your bot. This tool is useful if you are using the bot on a server. Import accounts from CSV. You can use this tool to import your saved accounts from your own computer. Export accounts from CSV. This tool will allow you to save all your created accounts on your computer so you can import them back later on. Get import template. Here, you can manually input your accounts by filling up the template. NB. All tutorials about importing and exporting accounts can be found in the description below. Open CAPTCHA Solver. Some websites, like Adidas, integrated CAPTCHA security feature that will not allow anyone to add to cart the item unless to solve the CAPTCHA. Use this tool to solve the CAPTCHA during any Adidas release. Let's have a tour on the bot settings. Click Configure Settings. Email Notification. You use this feature in order for the bot to send you an email if the bot checked out or added your item to cart. Delay Settings. Never change your delay settings unless we instruct you so. Delay settings are responsible on how the bot operates. Twilio SMS. Here, the bot can send you an SMS message directly to your phone if the bot checked out or added your item to the cart. If you have any questions, our customer support team is there and satisfaction rating of 98%.